so in this particular session you will be learning introduction to arduino programming and interfacing with arduino uno so what and all that particular programming structures then which and all we have to apply it over here and what is the basic structure or the pin diagram of an arduino uno then uh, what are the keywords used for programming how to install the software how to install the package how to add the board and how to interface a digital output pins so first let us start with installing of arduino so arduino installation it is very simple and this is an open source software it is easily available in all the markets and at the same time you can also download it that is for free uh, completely it can be set as a free kind of function so you can just go and search it as arduino ide so download it will redirect us towards the download part so from here uh, we have different different download options like windows 7 and the newer version windows zip file windows app linux 32 bit linux 64 bit linux arm 32 bit linux arm 64 bit mac os x 10.10 .10 or newer so these are the different options which we have so from this uh, what i have selected it is win 7 and newer this comes in exe file this is portable zip file so better i suggest you to go for uh, exe file more than app exe file will be helping us in a lot then after that once when we are installing just uh, click on this then you can just uh, click on just download so the exe file will be downloaded double click on it and install uh, the required process like we can provide the next 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 so in that way we will be able to install the arduino and for the latest versions of arduino the most important part is it requires a separate that driver so that particular driver is known as ch340 ch340 driver this is completely free you can just go and click it from any link so here i am going by the first link itself here also we have different options for mac linux and windows so from this we have to download it so after downloading that just unzip so just double click on it whenever we are double clicking don't forget to plug our arduino so initially in my system i have already installed even if i provided for installing once again also there won't be any issues so that's why it is showing it as driver failed so if i uninstall and install means it is accepted successfully pre-installed in advance so this function only it is most important for the latest type of audio so now we have installed our audio install board packages and library packages so inside the arduino installing of the board packages and uh, library packages very simple while compared to any other kind of programming so hereby we are going means uh, we can just go for the sketch include library manage libraries or we can add it as a zip file so once when we are tapping on this manage libraries a file will be opened up over there and from this part we have to enter the data like any of the name for example here i am providing it as dht so what and all related to that respective sensor we will be able to add it so like ldrpr dht11 edu intro so we can also see who is the provider first we can go for adafruit adafruit providers we can go uh, adafruit libraries are widely used for many of the sections and like this we have n number of libraries which has to be installed in library manager even if anybody is using for uh, fingerprint uh, r305 so in latest version the r305 is not there if you are going with node mcu you can go with esp8266 for that also we can download which applies for mqdt wi-fi connection modules everything then again one more thing speak provided by mathworks so these are all the uh, methods to install the library manager now installing the board package go for tools go for board go for board manager now type any of the boards required here also i am selecting esp8266 so that board is not there type as node the node is also not available but uh, most of the time we no need to install anything uh, sometimes everything it is already available if you guys trying for stm uh, for some versions whatever you are connecting it is available inside the board manager or we can also download from anywhere 
as an external part that also can be added to the package. In this way only the boards also installed and here we have to connect towards the required port. So with that particular port only we will be getting all the data. If you want to know the board info means click on get board info. Rest all sections should be in a default manner. No changes should be there. So this is the way to install the packages in library as well as the board manager. Now let us start programming. So before going to the program, let us start with the pin configuration. Without knowing the pin configuration, uh, programming is not possible. So here, uh, once when we are integrating this pin configuration upon this left hand side, where it starts from A0 to A5, totally six pins are there. These are known as digital pin, sorry, analog pin. These are known as the analog pin. And from 0 to 13, these are known as the digital pin. So inside a microcontroller, each and every pin has its own particular section. So this particular portion is called port C. Inside this particular port itself, we have ADC, ADC 1, 2, 3, 4. And similarly, from 0 to 7, it is known as port D. And from 8 to 13, it is known as port B. And port C, it is upon the SCL and SDA section. So these are the three ports available inside this Admega. So here we will be using Admega 328P that will be the IC. For the latest Arduino whatever we are having, uh, it will be having only a minute IC up over there. So the minute IC means like this, similarly looking like an arm. So this was initial function, but the rest of the architecture everything is same only. There is no change in that. So here why we have to know for the pin configuration means like external sections for i2c purpose spa protocol or serial communication for that kind of sections if you want to note down means we have to go for this pin configuration so whenever you work with any of the microcontrollers let it be any microcontrollers um raspberry pi arduino or pick anything keep a data sheet like this this data sheet is most important thank you for watching our video if you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.